before this video starts, yes, that thing you probably hear in the background is my heater. It is currently 39 degrees outside here in Houston, and I'm not going to be recording while I'm in the fucking cold. So you can kiss my ass if you think I'm going to turn off this fucking heater, because it's cold as fuck outside. Hello everybody, it is your host, me, Diet, and let's bring it back. Can you hear it? Sketch review. Oh yeah, we got a good one today, and you, this is actually coming from somebody who um, I actually follow. Because me and them are actually good friends. But, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take a look at Starlight. Now, the reason why I'm actually, you know, reviewing Starlight, and Starlight, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, the reason why I'm reviewing her is because the simple fact is, I looked at my comment section, and besides from seeing some interesting comments, uh, I saw this one by my good friend Puck the Black Swordsman saying, Oh, wait, sketch reviews back? Let's, how about you sketch review some people that you follow? And, you know, I had to look at it for a little bit, but then I was like, hmm, Starlight seems, uh, uh, in need of some criticism. So, um, Starlight, if you're watching this, uh, take some of my things to heart, because, oh boy, you need some work. Let me tell you, this is the brightest example of over-editing and over-detail. Let me explain. First, before we actually get into the actual over ed editing and over detail, I have to go into my two points, which is originality, such as OCs, and artwork. So, without further ado, let's actually look at her main OC, Starlight. Now, let's just get this out of the way. Just by looking at this one image, I can already see a few things wrong with it. Now, I have my notes written down here on my computer, and we're just going to go over them because honestly, this one image has so much wrong with it that I just can't. I really just can't, Starlight. This is kind of a little bit embarrassing. But, th this is just a little bit bad. But, let's get into the notes that I have here. So, let's start with the first one. That being that the line art is messy. Now, you may look at this and be like, hmm, okay, yeah, it looks pretty nice. But, honestly, if you look close enough, you see little lines that make no sense. Line art that's a little bit messy. You know, lines that cut into the drawing. And, another thing that I want to make a, no like, a little bit of a notice about. The line art changes size too rapidly. Now... Line art changing size in a drawing can signify, like, clothing, stuff like that. But with this one, it makes a little bit no sense because it looks really messy. Now, I don't know if that's stylistic choice, but just from looking at this right now, it looks really messy on her clothes. Not much the skirt, but much more of the top piece because you see that there's the chest piece that, you know, surrounds her neck, obviously, and it's really thick. But then you see the other pieces that, are, you know, are really thin. But from over here, the quality is so bad that the line art looks really bad. I don't know if you just have a really crappy phone, but it looks pretty low quality. Now, on to my second point, the anatomy. Now, anatomy is something a lot of people struggle with. For me, an example, I use more of as a base reference for my anatomy because I utterly suck with anatomy. Not to mention using a base reference is actually really easy and absolutely helps with my drawing. But apparently that's chasing for some people, which they can suck my dick, honestly. But honestly, um, when it comes to anatomy, I'm looking at this now, and let me just tell you, it makes you, <laughs> it just makes the character look like it is beyond all levels of thick, let me tell you. Because if you look at this point, it looks like your butt is literally right there. And then it looks like your thighs are literally the size of the dress. Like, holy crap! It literally looks like that your character is beyond thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Like, holy sweet Jesus. The legs are a little bit weird, judging by the fact that the anatomy is a little bit weird, because if you've seen what a thigh looks like, it does not look like that. Now, that could be just simply, you know, a cartoony art style, which I can get behind, but when your character is thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, and they're tall as hell from what I'm guessing, it just doesn't look right. It just really doesn't look right at all and the hands could use a little bit of work that's mostly where you see most of the line art fuck up because you know it cuts into the hand as i said the hands could use a little bit of work the arm could use a little bit of work but as i said cartoony art style you know you do your own thing but overall i think that this drawing could be a little bit done better for a reference sheet because ugh, there's a lot of fuck ups here like that's a lot of fuck ups but onward to what I really wanted to rant about, which is your overuse of editing. Let's talk about that. Here's another example of the 
basically the anatomy being a little bit too weird. Looking at this image right here, it looks like her tit is so sharp that she can use it as an actual combat knife. I'm not even joking with this here. Boobs, and this is coming from a person who draws hentai. And if you're gonna mock me for drawing hentai, go fuck yourself. But uh, just, it looks so pointy. It makes no sense. Now, I don't know if that's stylistic, but it's just so fucking pointy. I feel like I could cut butter with that. But when it comes to, you know, the over-stylistic choices, like, say, for example, the editing, the, you know, all the shading and stuff like that, it really... There is something that is called over-editing or overshadow. Basically, you over-add too much detail into a drawing. And it could be... Uh, background detail, lighting. Basically, if you add too much detail, the artist is literally gonna have, well, not the artist, but the actual person looking at it is gonna have a sensory overload and literally die on the spot from so many colors, it's ridiculous. Not to mention, looking at this drawing right now, I can see that you didn't put, like, do too much, because if you look at the mouth, it looks like you added the mouth, or you, like, you re-added the mouth, like, like, at the very end of the drawing, like, after you got done with all the shading. Because the mouth doesn't look shaded at all. Everything else looks shaded and blurry, except for the mouth. Um, my personal opinion is you should stop with the over-editing. I mean, editing does help with work. And I, I do admit that editing, like, say, for example, you know, color editing, like, put it into another software and color edit and stuff like that, it does work. Because I've done it, and it help, actually does help the drawing. But... When it comes to the point that you are literally suffering from quality loss because you're over-editing, this is bad. Don't do this. You have to know your proper, you know, proper limits of editing. And here's another example of this. Here's a proper demonstration of what you don't do when editing. Notice how fucking poor quality the entire image looks. And I've seen your quality. It looks pretty decent. But... This just looks horrible because the editing has lowered the quality. Not to mention, let's just talk about that hand. It's backwards. I don't know if you knew that. Not to mention, there's a few other issues on this drawing, such as that tiny little dot right there, and the fact that the hair looks like a little bit of Play-Doh when it comes to this point right here. But you know what? I think that was just merely more of a mistake than anything else. But people, let me tell you, don't over-edit. Don't over detail. It will fuck you up. Trust me. As you grow as an artist, you'll learn to not over detail as much. Because let me tell you, when you first start art, you want to add every single detail in that art piece because you want to make it perfect. Let me tell you from experience, no artwork is perfect. You're going to hate most of your art. That's just the facts. And there's going to be some art that you're proud of. Good. But there's going to be a lot of it that you're not proud of. You just can't add too much drawing. Like, too much... You know, can't add too much stuff into the artwork or else the artwork will actually suffer. It's like cooking. If you cook it too much, it's going to taste like shit. And if you cook it not too much, it's going to fucking taste like shit and you could possibly kill somebody. Same goes with art. If you don't draw too much, it's going to look like trash and people are going to bully you. But if you over edit, people are not really going to like it because it's just like, oh my, that's a little bit too much fam. But honestly, if I would give this person a rating, I would give them a solid 6 or 7 out of 10. Because they can draw. I give them that. They can draw. Do they make a little bit of fuck-ups here and then? Yes. No one's perfect, obviously. I fuck up here and then. But when it comes to them, I do have to say a few things for my final words. Try not to over-edit. I guess more or less look and try to clean up some of your line art a little bit. You know, try to just, just try to, you know, listen to the points that I was saying this entire video and try to work on that because it just, I know you're a good artist. I know you are. I've seen your art. It's just, it just ruins everything when you over edit or when something like that happens. It just, it just ruins the entire art piece. And ladies and gentlemen, I've been the Diamond Storm, being the low audience. I just want to say a few more things before I go. You have no idea how hard it is to make a sketch review on an artist that actually is good. Because a lot of people have been sending in their requests like, Hey, review me. Hey, review me. And it's all a bunch of good artists. Let me just tell you from everyone who sent a review in that actually can draw, 
You guys are perfect. Stop telling me to review you. You guys draw better than me. <laughs> Stop telling Stop asking me to review you if you can draw better than me. <laughs> it It's so hard to really make a proper criticism when I can't even draw that good. I mean, do you know how hard it is to review someone who literally can draw better than you by all points? It sucks. You guys are perfect, honestly. You don't need my review, literally. This is just for satire and stuff to actually you know, actually need it. Like, oh my god. I've been the Diamond Storm. You've been a lovely audience. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe. And if you didn't like any of this for some fucking reason, hit the dislike button. I don't care. But if you have a request of me to sketch review someone, please go to the Discord in the link in the description below and go under video suggestions and either type in the link or your ch or your actual uh, little user and I'll get to it. Probably. If you draw better than me, I, prob I probably won't. But...